How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial. I'm going to help Choco Panda and Choco says, how can I make an item to not be able to heal a mech type? Because I want an item called Repair Kit to heal mech type characters. Alright Choco Panda, so what you're trying to do is make um, like healing items for like uh, non-mechs and then a specified healing type of item for mech units that um, if you try to use the like the repair kit on things that aren't mech, it won't heal them. And if you use like a like a potion on a mech, it doesn't heal them. Only the re repair kit heals them. Sort of like how in Knights of the Old Republic you have repair kits and medi uh, medical packs. Um, so or medic kits, I think is what it's called. So yeah, let me show you how you do that. And basically, what you're going to be focusing this whole thing on is your element types. So I recommend getting Yanfly's uh, Element Core, but you don't essentially need it for this, but it'll help you multi-class uh, skills and abilities. So what you want to do is change your maximum and add a new element and call it whatever you want. We'll just call it Mech or something. So we've got a Mech type. So this is going to be uh, the type of damage or healing that is given from all repair kits. But what you need to do is make, make it so that um, your, all of your other healing items have their own specific uh, thing. So I've got uh, already have uh, uh, element type here called healing. So basically you're going to make all of your healing skills and all of your potions instead of restoring uh, uh, instead of like uh, let's look at it. Okay so let's say we have a skill uh, we'll put our kit let's go to items since you're talking about repair kits. So we'll go to where we have our potions and right here what we're going to do is make our repair kit repair kit and I guess this is irrelevant I'll come back and change this later give it a, whatever you want it to look like um, I'll, I'm gonna change it later but for for right now repair kit and give it the description uh, that say this item will heal mech units but not uh, other types or uh, not other party members other units or we can say this item will only heal mech units okay cool and then uh, well actually that'll be the second line the first line we're gonna say how much is it actually gonna heal this item or we could just say restores restores 50% uh, HP or you can make it a set number however you want to do it um, but then in parentheses in the, uh, below we'll say this is only going to heal mech units. So the difference between uh, doing, when you, ha when you make it like this, you can't actually use this in the effects, recover HP. Because that's going to recover without uh, using any element type. So what you have to do is specify HP recover in the damage type. And we're going to use the element of mech. Alright, so we're going to say no critical, no variance. It's going to restore just 50% of the HP. So we're going to say A.HP um, times, uh, or actually A.MaxHP times 0 0.5. And that's, what, that's all it's going to do right there. Um, if you're using armor scaling, you want to use a note tag that um, ignores armor scaling. Ignores armor scaling. I forgot exactly uh, the note tag so before I give you wrong information let's look at that real quick uh, because armor scaling will take into account defense and stuff like that. So let's find Yanfly's uh, armor scaling and let's look at the note tag and see if we could find something that's going to ignore armor scaling uh, armor reduction, armor bypass, armor scaling. That's the note tag what we're going to be doing. So copy that bypass armor scaling and we're going to put that inside here. Boom. Bypass armor scaling. That way you don't have to do a minus uh, if you're using armor scaling. And if you are using armor scaling, it won't uh, reduce this number or mess with it at all. So now this is going to uh, restore 50. Uh, it's going to do HP recover and restore 50% of the target's uh, max HP, but it's going to give uh, it's a, spe a specific type, right? Our element type is mech. So what you need to do is go to all of your actors or even your classes, however you want to handle this. And inside there, what you need to do is uh, toggle element rate. So what you need to do on element rate rate is you do zero. So this means 
anytime that you use a skill or item that is dealing uh, mech damage or mech healing, it's multiplied by zero. And if anything's multiplied by zero, it's going to be zero. So if you use your repair kit on Driftwood now, it's going to heal for zero, right? So you do this same thing, just press Control C, copy, paste that on all of your other units that are not mechanic, that, that are not mech, uh, mech units, right? So if you have like uh, ZX31 and that's your, your robot, right? Then you would uh, you wouldn't actually have to to adjust this element rate at all because it's going to do normal. But you actually have to do the opposite of that for the mech and the other units. So what you would need to do is on the mech unit you need to say element rate healing zero percent. So this is going to make it so that all of your potions that you when you make your potions and stuff and your healing skills you want to make sure that it's it's uh it's doing the element of healing you can see chakra right here it's doing an element of healing instead of healing from the effects because this effects will bypass the elements right so you want to specify that this is going to use a healing and it's going to do this damage formula so you make all your potions like that that are for humans and then you make all of your uh your skills and items that are for uh, mech units, the element of mech. And you put uh, on your classes or your actors, uh, whatever, if you're making a class that's mechanized or you're making a actors that are robots or whatever, probably actors, but you know, you could do it either way. You do 0% healing rate on all your mech units and you do 0% mech uh, damage on all of your human units. And once you've already allocated all your skills for humanoid to be healing and all of your items and skills for mechs to do mech element, and that's all there is to it. So let's test it out and make sure that this works correctly. Let's uh, create an actor, uh, this guy. Let's give him a face. Um, I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll make it this guy, and then uh, we'll make it the, this be that. Perfect, or actually we'll go with this one. And then we're going to give a battler for that. And the battler is probably not going to match up too well uh, because I don't have one for that battler. But that's okay. Um, we're going to just pretend that that's a mech robot right there. Alright, so now we've got this guy. And we'll set his basic class to be warrior. And we'll add him to the, the party. And what we're going to do is have this be a mech unit. So our element rate is set, uh, healing is set to zero, and driftwood is set to a human unit. So element rate of regular healing times zero. So let's look at uh, the items, the regular potions. So the potion set to the healing element, and it's set to this. Um, so what we're going to do is make an event that awards a potion and awards a repair kit, and we're going to test how they work on the human units and on the mech units. So let's go to our uh, system. Let's add that new unit we created. Okay, now we're going to start with both of those units. I actually want to start them both around level 10 so they don't just die. And let's start them level 10. Perfect. So let's change this unit to award some potions, change items. We're going to award potions. Whenever you do systems like this, you always want to test them out. You always want to make sure that they work correctly. Even though I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine, work perfect, uh, it's just test them out. It's a good idea. So let's uh, add our repair kit. Boom, let's add 10 of those repair kits. And now we're going to start the game and we're going to play test. And we're going to see if the repair kits, uh, they shouldn't heal Driftwood at all, right? But they should heal our, our mech unit. And the potions should heal Driftwood, but the potions shouldn't heal the mech unit. All right, so let's get those items. Boom. And let's get into a battle. Perfect. And we'll take some damage first. Let's just take some damage. Boom. Boom. All right, we've got some damage taken. Now let's use uh, let's use a repair kit on driftwood. So this should do zero, and it did. You saw the little zero popped up. It didn't heal him at all. Now let's use a repair kit on the Z-X31, which is our mech unit. Boom, it healed him for 850, which is half of his current health. So let's do the same thing with the, the potions. Let's use a potion on Driftwood. This should heal him. Boom. Two, now let's take some damage. To Okay, cool. Now he's taking some damage. Let's try to use a potion on uh, Z. 
Okay, it looks like our potion is a single, tar uh, single target only, or self, self target. So let's use the potion. Uh, this shouldn't heal him at all. And you see zero. So that's how you do it. Thank you so much for your special request. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.